What's going on, guys? Happy Halloween, happy Sunday, happy football, whatever it is that you guys do on Sunday. But I'm going to kind of shoot out some videos here, talk a little bit about uh, some plays that I'm looking to get into. Obviously, if you've been following my channel, you're a member of my Discord, which that link is down in the description box below. You guys know that predominantly 80, 90% of the time I am a scalper and I do scalp options. Um, I do normally play the NASDAQ 100 stocks, so the triple Qs. I'm talking Tesla, Apple, Microsoft, um, Amazon, Netflix, Roku, things of the, that nature. So one of the stocks that I really want to watch and that I'm looking to trade this week is going to be Apple. I missed Apple's big run-up on Friday just due to the fact that I caught such a amazing move right off the right off the gates on nvidia so i was kind of content with that and you know i don't like to over trade especially on fridays but apple gave a, a phenomenal move here i'm going to kind of back test and kind of show you guys how you guys could have scalped apple on friday and what level i'm actually looking for going into this week um just to get it out of the way the 150 break once again on apple is the level that i'm going to be looking at nothing but blue skies ahead of that 150 over 150 i think it retests uh, all-time highs and then puts in another leg higher but let's just get into the chart here on apple and kind of show how we could have used the five minute time frame used the 20 period moving average and how we potentially could have made you know uh a, a couple of nice day trades or scalps depending on your trading style so two things that we want to look at here so right here at seven o'clock we did get an initial reclaim of the 20 period moving average so if you know the way that i scalp using the 20 period moving average and the five minute time frame you know that anytime we reclaim the 20 period moving average i'm going to set a pivot line here uh, for a confirmation i'm going to add my stop at my entry candles um at my reason why candles um, low. So here we reclaim the 20 period moving average. You would look to get in on the close of this uh, close of this candle here. Obviously we make a nice pop from 147.46 all the way up to 147.83. So about a 40 cent move here, depending on what your uh, trading mentality is. If you're a scalper or you're a little bit longer time frame trader where you wanna hold this for maybe 30 minutes, an hour, two hours. Uh, you would use this as your stop here. As long as we do not close below your stop, you would still continue to be in this trade. If we can kind of just back test and follow, we did touch it one, two, three, four, five times. However, we got no close underneath our reason why candle here. Reason why candle is the reason why we're entering the trade. The reason why we are entering into this trade is because this is the first close over the 20 period moving average. OK, so that's your reason why candle you can see here just strolling along here, getting into this 815, 820 area. Not only do we break this previous level of that candle of our reason why candle here, but when we break it, we just kind of shoot all the way up here. And normally I like to take one to two, three pushes higher. This would be one, two, three pushes higher here would have been 148.24. That's about a push move. So if you are a scalper, a dollar, 70 cents, 80 cents on a stock like Apple is absolutely tremendous. In this particular case, Apple is not giving us any sort of indication that it's going lower because the first red candle that we get here does not close below the previous candle, which is still bullish. This all this is is a rest candle. All this is is a rest candle. As long as this candle, red candle, does not close below the previous green candle, this is just a pause. This is like you're running a marathon, you stop off to the side, grab a glass of water, you pause and then you continue the marathon. So, uh, another pop here really doesn't do anything. Another pause here stopping for a glass of water and then here we continue the marathon. Technically, you would not have exited this trade until this red bar here when it broke the previous red bar. So we have two double red bars, broke the previous red bar somewhere in this bar, depending on how much risk you were willing to take on that. Um, for me, as soon as it closes below the previous red bar, I just try to get out and get filled as soon as possible. But I mean, if we just take a look at the price here, this bar's the low was 149.05 and highs of 149.40. If we did enter here at 147.46 on that break, that's about a $2 move on this stock. So this stock turned into a little bit of a day trade that lasted just about uh, two hours 
an hour and a half to two hours here. Tremendous move. I am looking for the break over 150 because, like I said, <clears throat> nothing but blue skies ahead. Uh, Apple did get a, a, give a few other setups. For example, if you did miss this first one, this first one, if you were to enter here on this trade, you would have immediately been down probably on your contracts here. Or if you're trading shares, you would have been down a little bit. You would have had to ride this wave out. But, you know, just sticking to your strategy, sticking to your rules, as long as it did not close below your stop, you would have continued to hold. However, we did get another entry here at around 745. We also got another entry here at 147.24. This probably was the best entry here at around 815. Reason being why is because even though these other ones closed over the 20 period moving average, this candle here at 815, not only did it close above the 20 period moving average, but it took out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11 previous candles so anytime you have this kind of price action is normally going to be the indication of a start of a bigger move versus for example here at 805 yes we closed over the 20 period moving average however we did not take out prior price action here we did and this was the first close and did not give a little bit of uh, you know, only gave a little bit of a pop, didn't really do anything. However, your stop loss would have been correlated back here, almost the same uh, stop loss. If you can see here, the trend is developing. This 146, uh, 97 area was starting to build a base and act as a level of support here. So as soon as we started to take out prior price action, this thing sort of just ran kind of what I'm looking for. Again, if we can kind of just scroll across and see, obviously this is all after hours is going to be kind of irrelevant, but we traded sideways the last two to three hours of the day. They didn't really do too much and we're kind of just basing out here. So I am looking for a quick scalp pop over that 150 area on Apple price target anywhere between 151 and 152. We'll just have to wait and tell. Obviously, I always use my entry candle or my reason why candle low price as my stop.